I'm Nicola Talent and you're watching Crime World, a podcast about criminals, drugs and the underworld in Ireland and across the globe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can be the first to watch all our latest episodes. You can also listen wherever you get your podcasts. Taggy was brought home to his own country to be tried and um, in a way his power base wasn't dismantled before he was put on trial. Yeah. And he had a very, uh, certainly he appears to have, because he's again suspected in these murders, there's no conviction, but he appears to have had a very willing army out on yeah. the streets in the Netherlands, yeah. in Utrecht and yeah. in Amsterdam. And I mean, it's a slightly different case if Kinahan was brought home here to Ireland because it's kind of gone the other way around here. In yeah. in In a way... The power base has been dismantled. A lot of the the sort of the Kinahan cronies are behind bars themselves at the moment and they are seen as a weakened force. Yeah. That's not to say they aren't attempting to partner up with somebody here. Yeah. To continue to try and run things for them if they know they're kind of, they're sanctioned, they're coming to their end. Um, But... I think everything that's happened there could happen here. It could happen. And, you know, we've seen uh, it, you know, arguably almost did. I mean, the, the Kinnan cartel got to the point in, in sort of in the middle of the last decade where they got so big and so stretched out across across Europe that the, it was almost impossible for the Guardi alone to dismantle them. Yeah. It was only after they kind of reached out and took innovative steps in fairness, and mm. including bringing in the Americans to really target the roots of that, that, that it has had an impact, you know. Um, and we've also seen then that legislative changes that, that have been on the books for a long time, mostly unused, mm. such as the anti-gangland legislation. The use of that came in, it, it started being used and being used very very effectively so this so the the operate policing always has to change and adapt to the circumstances and that has to be brought they have to bring politicians along to make that happen um and some of the things worked in our favor but it has to be uh it, it could happen to any country and it has happened mm. to many many countries rich developed countries with with stable systems of government and it's to a degree happening in Belgium as well I think at the oh, moment I think so. um, I'm going to go to Belgium too yeah I'm going to um, go and try and sort of come to a little bit of understanding exactly what's happening in yeah. Belgium in Antwerp and Brussels and it's Belgium seems to be very divided politically yeah because there's the two of course languages there's the two the, the, the Flanders yeah, and the, the ethnic, Flemish and the ethnic, ethnic groups and ethnic groups yeah, yeah there's you know Let's avoid geopolitics because exactly. it could well we get around. I don't know enough about it to say any more but than I, that, but I, I, I know that much. And I know that there's certainly political problems because of the two interest groups um, there in that country. And of course, Belgium is the crossroads of Europe. Yeah, it's become, it's the ports, I think, in, 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 in Holland and in Belgium. Rotterdam and Antwerp yeah. are the two, so, so, I mean, the two main entry points of cocaine into Europe. Yes. Um, Brussels... Belgium is seen as the crossroads of Europe. Every piece of transport has to go through it at some yeah, point. Yeah. It's sort of like um, they were never able, even, you know, when there was beginning of COVID times, they weren't able to cro- close their borders because no. transport had to continue. Like Yeah, know, so all those all those legitimate networks are there. Mm. So they have all the logistical companies, all the, yeah. the companies delivering everything, every possible goods around Europe, all radiating out from that place. And you, you can see why it would be such a great location in mm. that way. So you, you see it even beyond the super cartel, you know, all those other, those drugs are ending up there. Sometimes they're, mm. they're rather than coming directly from South America, they're coming to places like Africa and then being brought there, brought to those places to be distributed then across Europe, you know. Mm.